Hey, it's me Maya. Welcome to my channel. And if you are new here in my channel, I am Maya and I make travel, lifestyle, Filipina, all about Filipina, dating a Filipino vlogs. And sometimes I also make cooking vlogs, hiking to nature vlogs. So for today's vlog, we are going to talk about red flags to look out for before dating a Filipina. A lot of you in the comment section have been expressing their feelings towards about this one Filipina that has scum you. In this vlog, I am going to tackle some subtle details to know if you are bound to be scam. Disclaimer, everything that I said in this video are all based in my observation and my own opinion. So let's start with the first red flag. So the first red flag that you should look out and you should not miss this is when she starts talking about her family problems, especially financial problems. It doesn't matter if it's online talking or in-person meeting. If she starts talking about family problems, especially especially financial problems, that is a very red flag. And you need to be careful with this because you could misunderstand it as she is being open to you and that she's comfortable talking to you about her problems. And you could feel good about yourself because she's comfortable already on your first day. Talking about financial problems in the family could lead in asking for, that's a second red flag, asking for financial assistance. Or she could not be asking you directly but indirectly to make you feel a pity for her situation and that will lead you to helping her financially. And most of the people that is very prone to scamming are the person that have a good heart and very kind. I am not saying that a woman that asks for financial assistance on the first week or the first day of date are bad people, but you need to be careful with this because they could be scammer, but maybe not, maybe they are not. And I'm not saying that giving and being kind, being generous is bad. You cannot control other people, how they feel about you, what's their financial situation. Some people do what they do for the sake of survival, for money, for getting something. Third red flag that you should look out for is when she starts saying that she's not active on social media. I find it red flag when a person says not only applicable to females but also for males when they say that they are not active on social media because that is something new especially in this era that social media smartphones are essentials to our everyday life. If a girl says I'm not active on social media but you see her posts on TikTok or post on Facebook like a month ago before you start dating, that's definitely a red flag. There are reasons why they say that and it's because they are hiding something or they don't want any man or woman that they are entertaining to know what they are up to, who are they dating. It's kind of like keeping the reservation in case the relationship that she or he currently have doesn't work at least she he can still have a reservation that's my thoughts about it about saying not active on social media but when you find out that he or she has instagram she has or he has tons of friends or followers in there so i find it a big red flag so the fourth one that i can think of if she has lots of foreigner friends on facebook or on instagram so i find it a red flag especially if the foreigners are a bit sketchy like one profile picture only and the rest or the profile pictures are like always in the bar pictures so the last red flag that I could think of, and I'm not saying that everyone that that does this are red flags. There's exemptions of Filipinas or women out there that goes to these places and that is always partying. I mean, 
what I mean when always partying is like partying every night, partying every week, at least two times or three times a week. I think that's a big red flag. That means that if you are partying, you like to drink, you like to hang out with guys, you like to hang out with a lot of people in the bar, which the old people in the bar are drunk and in the party mode, you know, you know what I mean in the party scenes, right? So I think it's a big red flag if a woman goes in those places every week. I mean, it's okay to party once a month with your friends. You meet your friends once a month and have a party, but not like every week, every single week. So I think these are the subtle red flags that we always must look out for. This is just my own observation and I don't have any reference for this. This is only my opinion based on my observation. And of course, if you are a grown man, you know this better than me. So if you are looking for a serious Christian Filipina, Christian women that is really looking for a serious relationship i have my link in the description down below christian filipina legit dating site they screen all the women there they screen the scammers and they make sure that everyone that joins in this dating site are all good filipina women and of course the same for the filipina they scan the foreigners for the filipina to find a good quality partners and also if you want free dating site i ha also have in my description down below pina love it's free to sign up tons of filipinas also there and women if you are ready to find your future filipina make sure to check out my dating sites in my description down below i make money if you sign up on them so it's a win-win situation thank you for watching and i hope you like this video and if you do please let me know in the comment section below and please let me know your thoughts about this red flags to look out for thank you so much and i'll see you guys again next time bye